Hello everybody and welcome back to the Seashell Devlog. I never record an intro, so here we are. This week, as you're about to see, we got some stairs done. A main menu? It'll be the best main menu you have ever seen in your life. Uh, don't forget to comment what you're working on down below and join the Discord if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's jump into the most energetic mark you will ever see last night, aka Thursday night. Hey, hey, so I don't know where Active Presenter is going to put my uh, little face cam here, but some changes. So it's Thursday night, 9.44 p.m. Still haven't done anything, which is unfortunate, but I have Blender open. In my Agile development class, we went over something called planning poker, and we did it just, you know, uh, just yesterday with my, my group uh, to plan tasks and how much time things are going to take. I'm not going to explain planning poker, but it's kind of cool, and it, it helps me feel a little more grounded. Um, so... The takeaway from this mini rant is to estimate work and relate things with each other because girl running around house and a first floor environment model are not the same thing. They'll definitely take different amounts of work and you know while my estimations might not be perfect there's a cool add-on for Trello um, and it just you just estimate the work. And it's based on Fibonacci sequence which is why they're 5, 8, and 13 but I don't really know where I'm at. Got really scared of girl concept art so I changed it out for a figure drawing spike and then I the making the actual asset was just making a simple humanoid model which I might actually do tonight. Uh, and then I got Dropbox power up to use Dropbox a little more effectively. So yeah, um, I think I might need to still do some learning, but for now I'm gonna try really hard to keep iterating. So looking at my Trello board here, kitchen is quote unquote done, it's definitely not. Living room, hallways, stairs. Uh, we're gonna do, okay, we're gonna do the stairs first. Closet with shell, let's do the stairs. Immediate problem is that I originally had the stairs going like this way. But if I want a wall with the windows, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. It's fine. It's fine. I can use the array modifier, actually, and just visualize all this. This is why the courses were useful, right? Because I can just do this, and then I can say... We don't want offset in the X, we want offset at one of the Z, and then a little one on the Y, right? A little action, which will make the one on the Y. Um, okay, apparently not one on Z, but... Also, there's got to be an easier way to... Like a different way to do this because i don't like how many cross sections there are so i gotta look into that but anyway i i kind of want to try this as not doing a time lapse but just cutting to every single part i talk oh they're slanted <laughs> let's be very clear about one thing a child will fall through this um i also have nothing under the stairs um but i was trying to figure out the banisters and i thought you know what keep it keep it simple um <clears throat> i gotta I gotta keep this simple, otherwise I'm gonna get uh, unincentivized. Really quick, I wanna do the windows and I wanna try the Boolean modifier. All right, so I'm gonna be done for today. <laughs> I got something done, um, which is good. So just giving up entirely. So I made the stairs, we're looking at the in render. Uh, there's a ceiling now, which is why this is being all strange. We have the stairs on the left, um, seashell intro on the front here. I kind of like to have a spotlight effect look. This is obviously so bad. The kitchen is sort of in the background, so definitely need some lighting, definitely need some enhancement. Uh, but I did some stuff. You know, the stairs, they exist, they're there. Um, I think I think it's good to do some more work on this environment here, but, oh, I probably should have taken the screenshot. That's fine. Just because, like, even if I don't use the actual environment, just getting into Unreal and then making the menu tomorrow should be my primary task. So I'm gonna move this back over here and then I'm gonna move this here. So main menu will be the um, the main task for tomorrow morning-ish. I, I have a lot going on. I have to do a lot of stuff for my Agile class, uh, development-wise, and I can only do so much development in a day. <laughs> But yeah, the Trello board setup is working so much better. I love, I, this is this is so much better. Will the prototype be done by the 19th? Pretty much not at this point, but I'm gonna make some slow progress and keep updating you guys on it. So I hope your projects are going well too. And I think some miscellaneous items for around the house. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, these are the things I wanna get done by tomorrow is just like have a main menu. The buttons won't do anything, but yeah. You know what, now that I think about it, maybe for future devlogs, my goal should be one new art thing and one new implemented thing. I think it's good to do the spikes or learning spikes alongside things. Okay. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I made time for this tonight, even though it's quote unquote past my bedtime. Um, it's just good. 
So yeah, I will check in with you tomorrow and tomorrow is the day of the devlog. So if you're uh, chilling, don't forget to drop what you're working on in the comments down below and join the Discord if you haven't already. All right, um, I don't know if this webcam is gonna show up twice. I also don't know if the frame is gonna be absolute crap. Trying a different recorder, OBS again, still lag, especially if I'm gonna be jumping into Unreal. So I've looked up on the docs how to make a main menu and we're gonna give that a shot. Looks pretty straightforward. Maybe I'll be able to put together widgets, all right, based on the knowledge from Toon Tanks, but we'll see. So I'm just actually going into the blueprints real quick to just kind of look at... I never really thought about how the animation might work, but if I... So this is the idle animation. And then... So if I open up, like, a walking animation, then... Oh, and these are animated within Unreal. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to do more look into... I'll do simple animations in Wonder. They're going to be so bad, but... Oh, never mind. You can import them. This looks pretty straightforward. I imagine it's like there's somewhere that says whenever you move forward, trigger running animation, right? Whenever you jump, trigger... Jump. Yeah, I seem to... I don't know. All right, let's focus on the task at hand, right? All right, Strawberry Avalanche is a banger, but we're going to pause it. Uh, main menu, functional, sort of, maybe. So play doesn't do anything. Options brings us to this, which is kind of cool. And I can't explain exactly what I did, obviously, but I understand the principle. And you set up the menu fairly simply, and that's really all you need to do <laughs> here, at least, which makes sense. Um, and, you know, I could go in and tweak these for a while, I imagine. I know how to, you know, set up the menu itself, but the question was how do i so i guess the idea was that you go to the level which i guess would be level one i think in the, i'm gonna make a level zero for all this configuration stuff when they when the game starts playing you create the widget and you add it to the viewport and then everything else is handled then all the events on click you can do through the buttons and you know this is one of those things i mentioned earlier is that Anyone who codes in Unreal doesn't know every single feature of Unreal, but like now that I know all these things, if I click play button, unclicked, unpressed, unreleased, unhovered, and not on unhovered. And then, you know, from there you can do things. And this makes sense. This is very straightforward. When I click play, you open your first level and then you remove um, the menu options. You remove your main menu and then you set your options menu to visible. And then same thing down here. And then these settings were just to show, you know, console commands to redo with things. Jeez, it's... <laughs> it is so beautifully middle school. Ah, oh, this is like when you start learning like Java and you make a tic-tac-toe game in Java Swing. Ah, oh, love it. So yeah, a little bit of a conceptual understanding. Main menu, ready? <laughs> ah. Oh man. It just, I should, I should just make this the thumbnail. Just this. Oh, it's just so plain, which is fine. That's the idea. Make a very plain looking game. Start here, get to the island, and then we make everything look good. And I iterate over my skills for several months before even moving on to level two. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and import our house. Cool, all right, this is, so if I hit play, hit play. Frick, uh, I don't want this anymore. Uh, okay, well, in theory I can play and then run around. So the problem here is uh, in Blender, these are planes, not, there's no thickness on these, hence why the walls are invisible in the middle. I imagine that's the issue. And of course you can see there's no lighting in here. And then I'll make a simple humanoid model to use and then figure out how to import that later. Cool boy. All right. I'm gonna stop the screen recording and I will check back in with you with actual camera in just a bit. All right, and with the last dregs of daylight, we finish up this week's vlog. Hopefully next week I have my hair shorter. Also, I know the light reflects off my glasses. Someone mentioned that. I think the first thing I'm gonna spend money on for this channel is lighting, but that's not important. What's important is devlog stuff. So I'll know this screen recording renders for uh, Unreal. And before my rendering start, before my tutoring starts, I wanna make sure I just have to edit for tonight. One thing I noticed when working on everything was that there's more complexity, but more direction. So I jumped into Unreal and it was like, just look up how to make a main menu. I kinda, I got the concept. That's 
you know, sometimes the hardest part, but there's more complexity and there's so much to it. So I gotta keep it simple. I also need to get so much better at working consistently as opposed to doing everything in, you know, Thursday and Friday for the devlog because getting half an hour of work done each day is so much better than getting, what, three hours of work done in two days. So yeah, that's, you know, my observations for the week, but I think it's been the most devlog so far. Obviously not much has been done. And to segue from that, my classes this semester are much more demanding, even though I have one less than last semester. What am I even taking? Oh yeah. So there's a lot of writing, which is pretty standard, but agile development is a class where we're making a web app and that requires a lot of, well, development. This week, I'm going to take it pretty easy. I have a midterm for grammatical analysis on Thursday. I know this isn't my life thing. Figure it's worth mentioning. So I'm going to take this week a bit easy. And I know, you know, it's not like I've been too intense on Seashell this past week, but looking at the Trello board, I'm going to kind of give up on getting a prototype done by the 19th, or at least the like skeleton thing done by the 19th and just keep working on it slowly. We're still in the same sprint. I'm doing two week sprints now. And a under immediate task, we can move that back. I'm gonna say main menu is done because all I wanted to do was get something visual. I'm literally gonna use this for the skeleton. I don't wanna spend any more time on it. I will iterate upon the details and stuff later. It's still just, oh, it brings me back to those sixth grade doing menus and swing in Java. <laughs> so yeah, this sprint or the, this upcoming week to finish out the sprint will be the simple shooter. Figure drawing, both are learning spikes, misc items around the house, simple humanoid model, first floor environment model, maybe finish up the room and stuff, make the planes not see through, prototype model running around the house, maybe implement that. Maybe even just use the one in Unreal Engine. Whatever you're working on, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. Had some encouraging comments on the last devlog, so thank you for those. Don't forget to join the Discord as well. Uh, I'll be leaving updates on just about everything there. Good art is so important. Storyboarding and all that, so important. And yet I'm just so hesitant to draw. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Katsu, what is it? Anyway, 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 anyway. Is that all for today? So got the main menu sort of done, worked on the environment a bit. This week will be, again, some learning, but also some modeling of assets. Yeah. Next week is March 19th. Today on Whiteboard Philosophy, we have acquired strength comes from the accumulation of results, which I really like because when you build up skills to put it one way, that's as a result of accomplishing many things. Once I get skilled, hopefully at Unreal Engine or modeling, it's because of my practice resulted in things, right? So as I accumulate more results, as I make more things, I get better, I get more skillful. I'm rambling, I don't know why. This is probably long enough knowing me. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. All the fun stuff. Have a good one and as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.